Hello everyone and welcome to PyTorch Ecosystem Day. My name is Suraj Subramanian and I'm a developer advocate at PyTorch. Today I want to talk to you about you, a community of researchers, engineers and hackers that has adopted PyTorch to push the boundaries of deep learning every day. Before I begin my talk, on behalf of everyone at PyTorch, I want to thank you for building an incredible community around this library. Thank you for being a positive community that welcomes beginners, shares expertise, and encourages one another to grow and improve. Thank you for being a productive community that is working hard to redefine the state of the art in AI every day. And thank you for being a creative community that as you will see on the posters today, uses deep learning to tackle some very challenging problems in interesting and novel ways. Last year, this time, we were using PyTorch 1.5 and today we are at version 1.8. Across these three releases, PyTorch developers have discussed more than 6,000 issues on GitHub, merged over 360 pull requests, and the number of contributors has increased to 1,800 today, almost 50% up from last year. The growth of the library could not have been possible without the community's enthusiasm and love for PyTorch. In the past 12 months, the forum has welcomed 14,000 new members, bringing our total population on the forum to 40,000. PyTorch knowledge, tips and tricks, and discussions about new features were exchanged over 58,000 posts. Last year, the time for a first response to any new topic was on average 25 days. Today, that number has dropped by 88% to just around 3 days, in a real testament to how responsive and communicative the community is. Frankly, it's pretty amazing to see the community band together and actively invest in each other's success. If you ever landed at the forum with a technical doubt or a query, there's a very high chance you may have found your solution from these forum champions. All put together, last year they contributed their expertise, over 15,000 posts on the forum. A huge thank you to our community heroes, the value you create is truly unique. We are tremendously grateful to you for sharing your knowledge with the tribe. Just as PyTorch and the community around it grows, the number of projects that use PyTorch keeps growing. As of April, approximately 67,000 repositories and 2,700 packages on GitHub are using PyTorch. A much smaller list of projects using PyTorch is the official ecosystem. The ecosystem is really a collection of open source projects and libraries that enhance the experience of using PyTorch. Most of these projects are built and maintained by the community. This year, the ecosystem expanded to include 27 new projects, some of which are Lyft's L5 kit for uh, self-driving cars, state-of-the-art NLP transformers from Hugging Face, performance acceleration libraries like Hummingbird and DeepSpeed, a multimodal AI framework for text and vision, model monitoring and debugging with Torch Drift, and libraries for hyperparameter tuning, experiment management, and distributed PyTorch. If you haven't already, go take a look at the projects in our ecosystem. There's something for everyone here. I want to share a few ways you can get involved with the community. First and foremost, share what you're using PyTorch for. The forums are more than just a place to ask your technical queries. They're also a great place to meet potential collaborators and kindred spirits. We have a newly created category on the forum uh, for your projects. Please use it to share your ideas, demos, and code. If you maintain an open source project that other PyTorch users might find valuable, please consider including it in our ecosystem. We can also work with you to publish a blog on our medium to familiarize other community members with your project. Last month, we launched a newsletter that rounds up curated news from across the PyTorch development world. You can subscribe to it to stay updated about the latest changes to the codebase, 
design discussions and RFCs for new features and important events in PyTorch. Thank you for joining us today to celebrate our community. We encourage you to walk around and see all the posters. Personally, I'm super excited to see the incredible stuff our community has been working on. This is also a great chance to interact with the poster authors because they will be available for questions. Breakout sessions will be held and schedules are located throughout the event space. There will be dedicated time for networking after each session. We also have private spaces and the Pi Porch for impromptu meetings and collaboration. Finally, feel free to get in touch with us. As developer advocates, we are here for the PyTorch community in a few different ways. We are here to answer your questions. We are here to listen to your feedback and help the engineering teams turn those into features. And we are here to keep you updated on the latest features and developments in PyTorch. That brings me to the end of my talk. Thank you for listening to me today.